Hi, it's Paul from Wave5Trade.com. Today is Thursday, the 22nd of February. Just wanted to give another example of one of our signals and set it up for you uh, for today. So our signal service it gives both long and short on weekly, daily, and 60-minute time frames for the potential fifth wave trades on an Elliott wave sequence. Uh, these are all good swing trades. Um, so I've chosen long on the 60 minutes. So have a, have a look at today's results on there. Spreadsheet is downloadable for all our members. And as you can see, there's quite a lot here on the 60 minute here. Uh, and this is due to the, um, the Fed minutes coming out last night, a bit of a dip in the markets. So we get these 60 minutes setting up here. So let's have a look at the chart and see which one I've chosen. Okay, I've gone for Macy's, uh, the ticker M on the 60 minute time frame from our scanner results. First of all, for those members that have the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, this is the Ninja Trader version, but we do have it for Think or Swim, Trade Station, and Multi Charts. I've isolated the bar count down on these lows here on the, uh, the 5th, 6th of February, here, this big green bar. This is where I've isolated the lows to start our wave count. And we've had a wave one, a wave two, a wave three. And now, yesterday, we confirmed the wave four into our green pullback zone. So let's zoom in a little bit there. Okay. So part of the signal service here that we filter out uh, certain criteria. So one of them is the 535 oscillator down here with the green and red. Um, oscillator uh, the oscillators pull back between 90 and 140 percent was a really good sign uh, that this has found reasonably good support the also on the field to the stochastics crossed over in the oversold zone now this has been quite a shallow pullback but it still hit our green zone which is an 85 percent probability if this wave for finds support in this green zone and then goes on and moves away from there there's an 85 percent probability it's going to go on and make a new high into our automated target zone here of around about 26.84 there for the 1 to 1 1.6 so let's have a look at the entry the entry is very simple for the first candle today on the 60 minute we're going to be outside of this our special 64 moving average high here this is for, uh, used for entry positions uh, and very very simple here we look for an entry above there but also above the whole dollar mark for me 2602 is a good entry for M long today and the stop loss usually a couple of cents below the wave for low here we need to be a little bit conservative because this is still quite shallow this pullback if there's more negative sentiment in the markets following the the Fed minutes this could pull back deeper so we don't want to get in too early so let's just uh, allow this to settle today. But hopefully, if this does find that support, we can then look for an entry at 26.02. With the stop loss currently around about 25.51. And then we've got a target of around 26.90. So that's a good uh, one to 1.6 risk to reward there with a conservative entry for M on the 60 minute time frame going long trading the fifth way. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.